planet, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, presenting the challenger, Brock Lesnar! And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC. Vegas, Nevada's T-Mobile with Green Island. There were a lot of several moments in this building. I can think of one. It was a big one for me at UFC 226. But John, also UFC 200. I got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile arena. Good spin. Man, D 
see his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, we talked about his rich advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch. Oh! Just over three minutes now to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice double. Look. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was gonna stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. I triangle, I triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finisher position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to the corner. And he's out. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. 90 seconds to go in round one. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes in your point. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his but back. He's going to attack the triangle choke here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. And he landed the right hand there. Slips the left hand. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, solid DC, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, so we're going to clinch. Not anymore. Beautiful trip to get this fight to the ground, DC. No effort, John. No effort. When you do it right, it takes no effort. And this young man just did it right. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Sound defensively blocks the shot. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Back to the feet. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Oh, right to the mouth. using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking for the man. Big shot from the top. I mean, how many can he take? 
the ground and pound has been there all night. submission tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water. 